turning now to a mystery in space we've been following since it first appeared in our skies three months ago. We are talking about that interstellar object known as 3I Atlas. Most scientists think it's a comet, but one high-profile Harvard astronomer has been making the case on this show and other places that its anomalous behavior and characteristics suggest that it might be alien technology of one kind or another, perhaps a probe. 3 I Atlas recently passed closest to the sun and will soon pass close to the Earth. But it may not be in one piece when it does. Professor Loeb says that based on his calculations, it looks like 3 I Atlas has been losing an extreme amount of mass, which could mean it's exploded into a dozen smaller pieces. So is it just another fascinating celestial phenomenon, or did the mothership just separate into a squadron of reconnaissance aircraft? Harvard professor Avi Loeb joins us now. That question is only slightly in jest, given everything you've been saying. Did we see it explode, or did we just happen to go back and measure it and say, oh my gosh, it's now much smaller and in a few different pieces? Well, what we see are seven jets coming out of these objects, more than seven, actually, after it passed uh, close to the sun on October 29th. And, uh, we can see that some of these jets are pointed towards the sun and they penetrate over a million kilometers through the solar wind. We know the properties, the density and speed of the solar wind. So we can figure out that for a natural comet uh, with the characteristic outflow speed of, um, you know, these jets that come off uh, pockets of ice on a natural comet, uh, given that speed, we can tell that there is a lot of mass carried by these jets so that they can penetrate through the solar wind, about 5 billion tons. And uh, in order to get that much mass out of ice, uh, we need a large surface area of an object. And it turns out that this, it's the surface area of an object that is at least 20 kilometers in diameter, much bigger than the original estimate for the size of the object. So that would mean for a natural comet that it was broken up into many pieces such that the surface area, the total amount of surface of these many pieces adds up to the amount of mass that we need to release uh, by uh, uh, vaporizing okay. uh, volatiles. Now, in the case of a technological object, maybe the jets are coming out of thrusters, in which case technological thrusters can reach much higher speeds for the gas that comes out of them, in which case we don't need as much mass. The fuel can be a small fraction of the mass of the spacecraft. So the coming weeks will be really decisive. Either we see a fragmented object where the pieces will get separated from each other by the tide from the sun, so or we would see an object that maintains its integrity and has very high speed jets coming out of it, in which case we will have to contemplate a technological origin. When are you going to know this, Avi? I mean, you're obviously watching how these each of these seven pieces now travels, if it's in yeah, a coordinated so, way or? Yeah, we will get uh, uh, data from hundreds of observatories around the Earth, plus the Hubble and uh, Webb telescopes. Uh, in the coming weeks, uh, by the middle of December, it will get closest to Earth on December 19th. And by then, I hope we will know the nature of the object, because if it's natural and it disintegrated, we would know what it was made of. We would see the pieces. Uh, however, if it maintains its integrity and you see high-speed jets coming out of it, we can measure the speed, we can measure the mass flux, we will know that it's something unusual. So I would hope that by the holidays, we would definitely know what the nature of this object is, and that would be a nice gift for all of us. Yeah, Merry Christmas. We're being invaded by aliens. <laughs> At least it sounds like, Avi, we'll know for sure one way or the other, which would be nice to have a definitive answer. Uh, okay, uh, Avi, on December 19th, you're booked on this show to I, I will reveal be glad all. To, yeah, whatever it is, you know, it's a blind date, and whatever it is, I will let you know uh, okay. if it's the rock or something more exciting. Uh, either way, we'll learn something new. Something more exciting may be the most dramatic understatement of the night. Avi Loeb, thank you so much, as always. It's fun to and informative to talk to you. Thanks All right. for having me.